Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, and I am going to try something new here today. Um, I don't know if this will work, if it'll be good or just edible, but I'm going to try it. Um, my name is Kendra, and this is my channel, Kendra Full of Joy. <laughs> my little dog's over there. They're locked out of the kitchen. I put up a gate. I won't show you, but anyway, <laughs> I put up a gate to keep them, keep them out. And so, like toddlers, they're going to stand over there and argue with one another over a toy so that I will pay attention to them. Anyway, my name is Kendra. This is my channel, Kendra Full of Joy. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're one of my friends here that always stop by and say hi. Okay, so to get to it, I'm going to try to make a, um, well, okay, start with this. I have one roll of cinnamon rolls left. When's this expire? It expire. Oh, Kendra, you're going to need your glasses for this. Um, June of 22, so we're not expired yet. I want to try something with it. So I'm going to cut these up into little pieces, and then I'm going to get this bag right here, Ziploc bag. I'm going to shake some cinnamon sugar in it. I'm going to cover the pieces with cinnamon sugar. Then I'm going to spray this pan. Oh, I already sprayed it. Um, I'm going to lay them down in this, I think. Or maybe I'll put the apples down first. I have never done this. I don't know what I'm doing. I have a can of use it or lose it apple pie filling. It was only expired a couple months ago. <laughs> Best Buy, not expired. It literally says Best Buy. It smells good, looks good, tastes good, doesn't have anything wrong with it at all. Anyway, I'm going to put down the apples. I'm going to put down the cinnamon chunks of the uh, pieces that I cut apart of the rolls. And then I'm going to um, put streusel on top. So of the streusel here, I took, this is so silly the way I did this. I just took bits and pieces of everything. I had two bags of caramel apple instant oatmeal in here, dry. Added a bunch of cinnamon, don't know how much. Splash of salt some dark brown sugar. I'm going to mix all that together. And then I've got some cold butter. It's in the freezer right now that I cut into little bitty chunks. And I'm going to mix it all together and drop it all over the top. And then after it's baked, I'm going to cover it with my own. I'm not using the can. I don't know what they put in this, but it doesn't taste as good as mama's <laughs> frosting, you know? So I'm just going to make some out of uh, butter and cream cheese and powdered sugar. Sound good? Yeah, we'll see. I think that's all, and I'll show you as I go along. Okay, the first step is done. It looks like um, almost the whole can went in. I didn't put all of the gel, you know, because it's already going to have sugar in it, and like two chunks of apples because they had what appeared to be um, hard pieces like from stem or you know how that'll happen in your canned apples there'll be little harder pieces in there so I checked for those real careful and didn't add those so almost a whole can and this is a bigger like a nine inch pie pan okay now I'm going to cut up those cinnamon rolls into quarters ish and drop them. Oh, one more thing I did too. I added more cinnamon and more sugar to my bag because that little bit in the white dish made out to be just a tiny corner and I wanted more cinnamon, but not too much. These have cut up really nicely in, um, you know, quarters. I've got them here and next I'm going to put them in this bag and give them a good shake and then I'm going to layer them around, not layer, I'm going to place them around and hope I can cover most of the um, apples but still leave enough room for it to steam up um, so I almost chopped up some pecans to put on top of these as well but I thought no because I don't have to chop those and anyway next if this turns out really well maybe next time I'll do raisins and pecans on something I'm going in my head work out please work out work out <laughs> sometimes my ideas aren't great anyway on with the next step. It's a good thing I didn't want to use the frosting that came in the can because when this exploded open in my hand, I did. I just took the paper off and it went whoop open in my hand. It blew the lid off the frosting and I set it aside and it melted. 
<laughs> so no fear, I have a bowl of my own frosting. So you can see here where I've started putting the biscuits, or biscuits, the cinnamon rolls, rolled in sugar and cinnamon. And here's what they look like in the bag when they're done. And it's just one container of the eight rolls. That really did scare me when that exploded in my hand. I hate that. You guys have probably all seen that meme on Facebook that shows a can of biscuits and it says, the, the adult equivalent of a jack-in-the-box for a toddler. Yeah, I jumped. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna place these and I'll show you when I'm done. And that's done. It's all on top. And I had about that much left, that's okay. Not a problem. I'd rather have too much than not enough and then have to keep making more while I'm in the middle of it. So now I'm going to mix up my streusel with my cold um, chopped up butter and put that on top. And I think at that point I'll put it in the oven. It'll be done. My oven has been <clears throat> preheating at 375 degrees, just, um, just like I were making a can of biscuits. I might cut it down to 350. I don't know what I'll do. I'll just check it and see. So here we go right? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to film this. My camera keeps going off. I've had trouble with too many, too much on my camera. Anyway, there's the frozen butter and there's the streusel mixes that I told you about already. I, one change I added was a little bit of granulated sugar. Let's get this going. I thought this was going to be a lot harder than it was. I actually did find my pastry cutter. I've got a bag with my bread stuff in it for biscuits, as if. I still have never made homemade biscuits. I would be such a disappointment in Fallon's house. After all that chitter-chat, I decided not to use my pastry blender, so I just mix it all together with my fingers, and I'm going to hope for the best. Sprinkle it on top. There it is, all sprinkled on top. I've got the oven ready. I'm going to slide it in. Just went in. I'm going to check and see how long it says for actual biscuits and check at that point. But it's probably going to need a whole lot more. Should I cover it? I think I will for the first little bit, just loosely, and then take it off at the end so that it steams up instead of just, oh, yeah, 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 that's what I'll do. There we go, 17 minutes on 375 degrees with some non-stick foil on top. Um, I'll pull it off and check it when it's done. So in my bowl I have vanilla, butter, cream cheese, and I've got some powdered sugar here and I'll add that little, as, little by little as I need it to thicken it up as much as I want. I uh, realize this is my last bag of powdered sugar, I'm so glad that I did look in here today because I need to keep that a stock of it, you know, because the holidays are coming, right? I mean, it's May. <laughs> I just switched to a hand mixer because I've got arthritis in my hands really good. And so, oh, I turned it down. It just went down to 350 for me. It's still covered. Anyway, um, arthritis makes it hard for me to do things like this that are stiff. So I'm going to treat myself to the electric one. So it's just cream cheese, real butter, and powdered sugar. And I'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, I added some half and half and some cinnamon. Yeah, so give it a cinnamon kick too. And then um, I'm going to continue to get the lumps out of this, I hope. It's got a few lumps, but nothing bad. There we go. That's good enough. It's, you know, Thick enough, but not too thick. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc baggie to pipe it all over the top as soon as it's warm, but not, you know, screaming hot out of the oven. The lid is off. It still needs to cook a little bit more. Oh, it smells wonderful. Look here, the sun is out today. I just saw two people go by on bicycles toward the park. Oh, so nice. Um, it's not hot. It's not cold, really. It's especially if you've been working over a kitchen. I'm out here to get some nice, uh, oh, cooling, natural cooling on me, rather than use a, oh, magazine or newspaper like I usually do as a fan. Um, 
Oh yeah, I was going to tell you, last night we went to um, get a flag because we, when we moved, we left, when we sold our house, we left our flag with our house. My husband said, you know, that it's a nice thing to do to leave them that, and we did, and um, I, anyway, um, I'm glad that they were able to uh, take it down. <laughs> Just, you never know what people are going to do. Um, I'm being kind of contrary here and I shouldn't be. Anyway, long story short, too late. We went and got a new flag. We're going to put it up today. I mean, you know, like a full size to go over for people can see and it's pretty and I love to fly a flag. And so anyway, my reason for telling you this is as we were coming home, well, first we went to Walmart and then we went to Goodwill and we got things at both places. And as we were coming home, I realized I, in the distance, I could see flashing lights. Anyway, the police were everywhere. There were State Patrol, Kitsap County Sheriff, Port Orchard City Police. Um, oh gosh, now I can't think of them all. Um, uh, there was Tribal, there was Fish and Game. I mean, everybody who was anybody was available for this, whatever they were doing. Well, I hit Facebook, what's going on down here at, you know, and I named off the cross streets that I had seen blocked off. It was, it was clearly, there was one, I think he was a State Patrol or she sitting in the middle of a roundabout. It was a little roundabout, not like a big city roundabout, a little one. Anyway, it's the same guy they've been looking for for two days now. He apparently steals cars and drives them at a high rate of speed as fast as he can. They know who he is, but they cannot catch him. He is a five foot 11, 118 pound wiry 22 year old who's got nothing but jackrabbit speed apparently and he caused a really bad accident from what I heard I mean you know this is all just what I'm hearing on I saw his mug shot and it may not be him that they were looking for but it was bad um, so in the end when I quit looking late last night at like 10 o'clock they still hadn't caught the guy and they were out there with canine dogs you know um and looking in people's backyards looking at people's sheds and stuff and telling people stay in your houses lock your doors and this is my little town and it's getting terrible i just hope that something can be done at some point to make it back to our safe i used to walk at night alone you know i would never anyway Back to happier things like the cinnamon rolls. They smell so good. Here they are, fresh out of the oven. They look a little like potatoes. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't look that yummy yet. But then I drizzle the frosting. Hey, that's me. It's me. I'm here. I live here. Thank you. Anyway, <clears throat> when I drizzle it with frosting, it'll be fine. Is my voice getting deeper with menopause? What is it with you two? This was everything. I've already had a piece. Um, this is the frosting that I put on top after it was cooled enough to not just melt it into nothingness. The piece that I took, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, I did. And it was good. I'm going to do this again. I really like it. And I'm going to think about other ways I can do it too. Uh-oh, here comes my husband. Okay, so I guess I'll say bye now, and if you guys want to try this, I would suggest you do. <laughs> I'm over here on the other part of the kitchen now, and um, I just wanted to say goodbye and thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful Monday and a good Memorial Day. And remember what Memorial Day is all about. Take care. Bye-bye.